I'm Courtney, and I just wanted to share a short message with you that I received from God this week. So in Jeremiah 24, it says, The Lord gave me this vision. I saw two baskets of figs placed in front of the Lord's temple in Jerusalem. One basket was filled with fresh, ripe figs, while the other was filled with bad figs that were too rotten to eat. Then the Lord said to me, What do you see, Jeremiah? I replied, Figs, some very good and some very bad, too rotten to eat. Then the Lord gave me this message. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. The good figs represent the exiles I sent from Judah to the land of the Babylonians. I will watch over them and take care for them, and I will bring them back here again. I will build them up and not tear them down. I will plant them and not uproot them. I will give them, them heart I will give them hearts that recognize me as the Lord. They will be my people and I will be their God, for they will return to me wholeheartedly. So from these couple of verses we can see that the Lord has given Jeremiah a vision of two baskets. Um, good one basket filled with good figs and one with bad. So we want to make sure that we are a part of the good figs. We want to be uh, have a good impact on others. We need to make sure we have a good character and attitude when we're around others. And we want to um, be the figs that God watches over and that God loves and God calls as their child. We want to be part of the good figs. And on the other hand, it says, But the bad figs, the Lord said, represent King Zedekiah of Judah, his officials, all the people left in Jerusalem, and those who live in Egypt. I will treat them like bad figs, true, rotten to eat. I will make them an object of horror and a symbol of evil to every nation on earth. They will be disgraced and mocked, taunted and cursed wherever I scatter them. And I will send war, famine and disease until they have vanished from the land of Israel, which I gave to them and their ancestors. So the bad figs are obviously too rotten to eat. They are a symbol of evil and we don't want to be a symbol of evil too. We don't want to be known as evil or mean or horrible. We want to be known as someone kind and generous. We want to be a good fig that is um, nice to other people and welcoming with others. So we want to be a part of the good figs. And also um, when we pray, it's not just us speaking to God, but God also wants to speak to us. It's a two-way conversation. He wants to speak to you to everyday things like a vision or um, a friend or a sermon you're watching or even a movie or TV show, he can speak to you through everyday things, but you just need to let him in your heart so you can be able to know his voice and be able to know when God is speaking to you. So it's a two-way conversation. Not only you can speak to God, but God can truly speak to you. And he wants to speak to you. He wants to have a close relationship with you. You just need to let him in your heart. Then you'll be able to recognize the Holy Spirit talking to you. So. Again, we want to be a part of the good figs with a good attitude, good um, characteristics, the um, characteristics of God, and we want to be a good impact to, to everyone around us. And we need to let God in our hearts so we are able to speak to Him and He can be able to speak through us through everyday things. So God bless. I hope you have a good week. Um, that's all for me. Bye.